Now, hi students. Um, so we're going to have a go at uh, this one here. Uh, these are Pierce's uh, sketches of that transition uh, from the two-story to the three-story. Um, this area here, probably probably the trickiest bit of this model, um, but very well explained by uh, Pierce's sketches here. Um, so. Uh, the way I'm going to approach this is that we're going to create a couple of uh, different wall types and um, uh, use the, uh, the wall profile tool uh, to transition from um, this party wall here into um, uh, the external gable wall of the three story. Okay, so let's bring that over here. Now, uh, so that's where this happens. So I'm going to set up a section here. You can see I've got section three set up there. And that's what I'm seeing there at the moment. Uh, I'm also going to set up a 3D view, but I'm going to set up a, a section box here. and It'll just help me explain and understand what's going on. So in the 3D view, come over to the properties here and check the section box. Uh, select the section box then, and then let's pull this uh, right over to where this uh, intersection is going to happen between the two walls okay something like that there now currently what i have is just this external wall wrapping around here and obviously that's uh that's not right right so i'm back to section three here and uh, this is what i'm seeing so the first thing i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to select my wall here and i'm going to turn it off down here I'm going to hide that element. Now then I'm going to uh, select the uh, party wall and then rather than, than do uh, an attach top and base I'm going to hit this uh, command here. So this is edit profile. Okay. Right now I'm going to use my pick lines which is uh, this uh, little command here and we want this uh, to come up more or less to the top um, of the wall here. That's where the junction is going to be between the two separate walls. And that's kind of going by um, Pierce's uh, diagram here. He probably is down a little bit lower. Um, he's probably come into the underside here. So I might just do that, right? I might just come to the underside here. Something like that, okay? Now I just take the this one and delete that. Delete that. that. So we'll do that again. Okay, pick lines and we'll just go to the underside here. Okay, now that's worked here. So let's see if I can get that to work on this side. Oh, do you know what it's doing? Let's see. Okay. Uh, let's just cancel that. Right, we're going to do this again. Edit profile. And uh, big lines. So we'll pick the top because uh, that seems to work to pick the line. That's all right. And now we're going to trim this one to that one. We're going to select this one and uh, escape, escape. Select that one and delete. Okay, now, uh, what I can do here now is align, and I can say, say, do this, align that. Mm, it's disappearing. So it seems to be, yeah, it's going all the way down on the bottom of the, okay, so let's uh, undo that. All right, and let's see if we can pick this, and let's see, yeah, well, I'm just using my, um, arrow keys here now to line that up to the un underneath the slate if you know what I mean uh, more or less like so right let's finish that and unjoin the elements that's fine now um, if I go into my 3d here you'll see that um, I've actually got two walls all right I hide that element in that one there and that is my party wall that's going up there. Let's take a look at um, uh, a section here. 
so I'll just move that up more to the center there and okay so that's kind of the arrangement there I've got at the moment now that's not um, exactly right because this this wall here um, has a service cavity on the inside here so I'm going to take this one and let's go back to uh, there and I'm going to edit type we're going to duplicate and this will be wall type 6 Uh, is already in use. Okay, so we we'll call this uh, rename duplicate wall type seven. Let's see if that one will work. Yeah. Okay. Now we'll come back down here, and we're going to take these. Uh, you can see the interior side here, so we're going to delete all of that, and we'll just keep that there. Okay, now uh, let's go back to our section and take a look. Right, um, now that's fine. So if I bring across Pierce's uh, sketch here, okay, that's more or less what's happening here. All right, um, so let's bring that back across there. Now, uh, that's the roof which I can extend uh, across to, to that point there. Or not even do that, I don't even need to do that. We've, we've got an area here where we create uh, those kind of um, flashing and counter flashing uh, as well. All right, so probably that is okay there for the moment. Now, let's go back to section three and we're gonna turn on uh, everything. And then what I wanna do is select this wall, so tab, select and then use the edit profile here and that's fine pick line again and we pick here and here now i'm going to um yeah i'm going to pick this one and this one as well so let's do a little bit of trimming here so we trim that one to that one and that one to that one to that one and this one to this one okay now let's get rid of that line let's get rid of that line now you can see the shape of that gable wall there now and unjoin elements now you can see now we've got the uh, interior party wall going up to here and the exterior party wall taking over Let's get into that section and see and we've got the little kind of gap that's happening here um, which we will detail up uh, when we um, get into into that area there all right so that's basically it let's have a look in 3d and we'll uh, just make, turn on all the elements temporary hide okay now a, you can see that there's the, the little gap that's occurring and um, I can always move that roof over a little bit here uh, which I might need to do in order to uh, because that piece of wall is attached to the underside here so you'll get a little few little anomalies here but that is basically uh, how to do that and um, let's just go back to the section <laughs> And that is something that we would detail up at 1 is 10, 1 is to 5 um, at a later point. But I think uh, you've got the, um, the base of this is correct. We could always shift this wall out a little bit here as well. Um, so we could always do that. And let's see. And again, when walls come in contact with each other, funny little things can happen. So uh, if I use my arrow keys here some roof items but I'm moving it across like so something something like that as well so you've got that option to be able to do that there uh, as well okay so that's uh, how we would create um, this transition detail right uh, from there and that's uh, Pierce's thing there 
this one into this one. Okay.